Hey, Malik, this is Cameron from the Curry Journal. Um, obviously, three turnovers for you guys. Um, obviously, three fumbles from your running backs who really didn't fumble a lot last year. Just how hard is it to overcome that um, when you when you guys are really kind of just giving away possessions like that? I um, mean, it hurts the team, uh, obviously. But uh, <clears throat> like Coach said, we can't uh, just dwell on it. We know turnovers hurt us. I mean, we've seen that last week in the last game that we had. And like I told the running backs, I mean, I turned the ball over three times last game. And I ain't really like I was down on myself, and I really should have been. So today, when those guys were turning over, I was just trying my best to just try to keep those guys positive because I I know what they I know what they're capable of doing. But um, yeah, it hurts us as a team, but we can't dwell on it. We just gotta bounce back and go back to work. Malik Cameron again. Obviously, obviously a lot a lot of Marshawn had a pretty good game. A lot of targets to two two. Did you see anything that Georgia Tech was doing defensively to maybe take guys like Dez or Justin away? Because um, obviously a lot of your targets kind of went towards those two. Or is it just um, kind of how I, it happens? I mean, uh, when we, like the play design and and those guys are sometimes the first read. And tonight they was giving us a lot of uh, looks. And so I took a lot of those looks. They didn't do anything different uh, from feeling what we've been watching. I mean, I feel like we executed well on the offensive side. We just, uh, besides the uh, fumbles, that's about that's about it. And they, I mean, that killed us. Malik, this is Gary Gray. Hey, Malik. The, I mean, you, you you all still have a lot of season left. Uh, I mean, you know, how do you all kind of kind of keep the you know keep the morale up and and you know stay focused on on the end result as opposed to tonight? Um, well, the team just got to lean on, lean on the leaders. I mean, this one, me and a couple of those guys, we got to step up even more. I mean, considering we just lost three back to back. I mean, that's that hurts bad. I mean, nobody wants to lose. But like Jose, you, you as a man, you can't just like I said earlier, you can't just dwell on that. You got to pick back up because in life, a lot of stuff is not gonna go your way. And like like last two weeks haven't been going our way. And it's all about how you how you finish and uh, approach the uh, the next day. So the next day, which is a work day, so we got to come ready to work. Malik is, is Cameron again as as one of the leaders for this group. What do, what do you tell them after this to kind of um, obviously because you lose like this, you want to kind of be down a little bit. But what do you tell them yeah. to kind of get back, like you said, get back to work tomorrow? Just being down really doesn't help nothing uh, in life. Uh, you you just can't like. I mean, you mess up, you got to deal with it. Like, as a man, that's when you got to be a man about it, not just a kid. Because it's easy to, we oh, we lost three in a row, it's easy to opt out now and just run away from your problems and just staying in and uh, getting better each and every day. I mean, nobody wants to lose. And right now, we're on a three-game losing streak, which is not what we wanted, not what we pictured. And um, we just got to bounce back from it. And as a leader, I just got to be there for those guys and stay positive and uh, keep those guys up. Because I know they uh, a couple of those guys are pretty down. And um, that's just my job to do. And I'm going to do the best I can to do that. Take one form, one more. That's it. That'll do us. Thanks, Malik.